has Google figured out AI note-taking? In this video, we're gonna test drive an AI-powered note-taking app from Google named Notebook LM that can help users organize, summarize, and generate new content from our own notes. It does this by using natural language processing to understand the meaning of our notes, and then using that understanding to help us find the information we need, extract key insights from our notes, and even generate new content based on our notes. The key difference between this and other AI chatbots like ChatGPT and GPT-4 is that Notebook LM allows users to train the language model on our own notes and our own sources, effectively creating a personalized AI that is relevant to the user and the project. This allows us to narrow our investigation versus probing the entire internet. Notebook LM is currently labeled as an experimental product only available as part of the early access program for users in the US. And since I've been playing with this app for a few weeks, I wanted to take you through a test drive so that we can all get a sense of where Google is headed with their approach for AI note-taking. To learn more and to apply for early access, please visit the Notebook LM website, link in the description below. So let's go to the app. We have a clean interface here with an option to create a new notebook. So let's click on the plus sign. And it's asking for the project title, so let's give it a name. We'll just call it Research and hit Save. Now let's look at the interface. And the main section is prompting us to upload Google Docs as a source. This section will eventually be replaced with the source content once we start adding them. We can add up to 10 sources per notebook and 50,000 words per source. And as we add the different sources, they will start to appear on this left-hand column. And on the right-hand side, we have the actual chatbot. This is where you can engage with the chatbot and enter your prompt, the bottom here. We'll see this in action in a moment. Our actual notes are not visible on the screen yet. To open it, you can either click on this button here or use the shortcut key, Control-K. And as you engage with the source material and get responses back from your prompts, uh, you can add those to your notes. And again, I'll demonstrate this for you in a little bit. Now that we review the interface, let's start to add some sources. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign for new source. And you can see that we have three options. One is to add notes directly from Google Drive. We can also upload PDFs that are saved in our computer. And we can also copy and paste text directly as a source. So we're gonna review each of these options. And for the purpose of this demonstration, let's pretend that we're doing some research around the art of asking the right questions. This is something that have been top of mind for me lately. So I've curated a couple of articles and notes around this topic. So let's start with Google Docs. So new source, upload from Drive. And you can see that I have two documents. One is an article that I saved into my Google Docs from, you know, it's an internet article. The second is notes that I've taken. So I'm gonna click on the first and hit insert. You can see that it's loading and you'll start to see in the right-hand section of the interface, the chat bot has started to process the information. As you can see, it's showing a short summary of the document. And it's also suggesting some of the key topics that are included in the document. And it's also suggesting some of the questions that you can prompt and ask. So before we engage with the chatbot, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the rest of the document. So click on new source again, go to drive. This time I'm gonna upload my notes. Now you can see the source count has changed, right? So before it said one, now we have two sources and then we have two sources listed on the left-hand side. Click on new source again. This time I'm gonna upload from my computer. So I have two PDFs here. I'll go with the first one. And while that's loading, I'm gonna go ahead and load the second one. And then lastly, I have some text that I copied from a website. I'm just gonna go ahead and control V to paste it here. And you can see, I'm gonna click on insert. Okay, so now we have five sources as listed here and we have five sources showing to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the content is gonna show whatever source that is selected. 
and we have the option to engage with a specific content source. So rather than having all five sources selected, if I click on this button, it'll toggle back from the single source that you have selected here or to showing all five sources. One thing that I want to call out here is that if your original source content is in PDF, once you bring it into the Notebook LM, it will convert it into a Google Doc. And in the process, some of the formatting may get broken up and some of the, the text and the sentence might get split. So for example, this white paper here, originally it's a PDF. If you look at the source, the, the content window, and look at some of the text, you can see like, for example, second sheet of paper, write down process. So there's line breaks here. But fortunately, AI does a pretty good job of understanding the sentence structure and the text from its context. So it's really not a problem, but I just, I did want to call that out. Okay. Now that we've added the source content, let's see what we can do with this. Let's start out simple. I'm going to toggle back to show just a single source and just pick a document. And what are some of the suggestions here? What are the benefits of asking questions? So let's click on that. And you can see the response. Okay, some of the benefits encourages curiosity and exploration, helps us connect with others. So we can further engage with the chatbot by clicking on these additional suggestions now. But now we have some answers that we can add to our notes. If you like this response and you want to add it to your note, you can click on this chevron here and you can see our note page pop up and the content has been added. And you can, of course, edit this. You could even format it the way you want. You can add additional notes if you like. And then, of course, hitting the shortcut Control K will hide that. Now we can try engaging with all of the source contents at once. I'm going to toggle this button to show all five sources. And then we can ask our own questions. So let's say, Now it's scanning through all of the five source contents that we have, and it's giving us some suggestion as to what type of questions we can ask. And what's different here now is that because we are using all five source content, there's now citation. So if I click on it, it expands to show that we have 10 citations. And if I, let's say, click on the first one, and it's showing that the first citation is referencing the note asking the right questions, which is from this here. Let's go back. Okay. And then it's actually taking a little snippet from that note showing the actual content the AI chatbot used to formulate its response to our prompt. Now you can see how powerful this is. And there are so many use cases. If you're a student, you can upload your class notes into Google Drive pull them in as sources to your notebook, and not only get summaries of the notes, but also prompted to ask you questions to test your knowledge. And if you're looking for a job, you can upload your resume along with descriptions of jobs that you want to apply for and prompt for comparisons, extraction of keywords, and where you may have gaps in skill set. And I've already demonstrated what you can do for research. Now, the Notebook LM is far from perfect. Again, it is in its experimental phase. On several occasions, I've clicked on suggested prompts only to get a response back indicating that the sources do not contain enough info to answer. And while the cap of 10 sources and 50,000 words per source is a significant increase from just a few months ago, it can still be restrictive. But overall, I am impressed with the tool and excited to see where Google takes this next. Given that this is in its experimental phase, they are naturally soliciting feedback. I would love to hear your thoughts on this program and what features you would find helpful. And I'm also curious to see how you would use this app in your workplace and at home. Please feel free to leave a comment below and I plan to consolidate your feedback to submit to the Notebook LM team. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in learning about other AI tools that I use, check out these videos next. <music>